Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change out the jets on a Honda CRF 150R. Uh, this one particularly is a 2014. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First, you got to take off these three uh, hose clamps. There's, there's one on the other side of here. So yeah, these three hose clamps. All right, so now the carb is loose. This is a just a big mess. Alright, well. That looks like it's about as good as we're gonna get. Alright, so. Now, just start taking off the screws for the bowl. This is why I'm doing this over the grass, is because this is starting to get real messy. All right, so here it is. Also, I forgot to mention, but of course you're gonna want to uh, definitely drain your fuel because if you don't, then you're gonna just, it's gonna keep pouring out. All right guys, so this big jet is the main jet and that controls, I believe it's like, you know, just wide open throttle, 75% to wide open throttle. And uh, down in there, I don't know if you can see it, but in there, that's the pilot jet, and that's the one I'm going to be changing out today. Um, and for that, all you need is a flathead screwdriver, a, a small enough size to fit into that little hole I just showed you guys. All right, so there should be a little number stamped on this jet. There it is. So this jet is a 38. This bike is running way too lean. So I'm gonna go up a couple sizes and probably chuck in eh, like a 42 probably. 42 sounds just about right. All right guys, so got the uh, 42 jet. And so now it's time to put it in. All right, so now it's in there. And now it's time to put the bowl back on. And when you're putting the bowl back on, you gotta watch out for this little rod back here uh, because these little 150s all have uh, they all have accelerator pumps um, and so um, that is what that is and you don't want to damage it in any way
Alright, so now I can uh, screw the clamps back on and the bike should run good as new. Alright, so now let's turn the fuel Leo back on. Wait for a second so that the fuel can get to the bowl and we'll see if it runs better. guys so i just took it out for a spin and the bike is way more lively now um before I had to have it tuned like completely richened out entirely like it was so rich and so the high end bogged but it was just to keep the low end from you know not working <laughs> but so yeah so i had to mess with the fuel screw a little bit but once i did oh my gosh this thing is way it runs way nicer than before it's so much more so much more guts so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one